Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snookus and this is Harsh of Iron 4 and we are playing in our Republican Spain campaign here. And let's just start off right away. Uh, we are not gonna play on the highest uh, uh, speed setting due to um, it lagging the frame rate so much. Okay, so we, um, we got some um, divisions in China we wanna use. Uh, in the Communist China, in the People's Republic of China. So let's uh, check that out. First of all, I want to check on these um, options we've got due to getting enough political power. Uh, we've got some industrial... Whoops. Um, we could get some industrial things. We are all right on manpower. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's been a couple of days since I last played this campaign, so... It's gonna be a couple of minutes here to get my bearings straight. Um, we don't really need anything here, do we? So, um, let's get the military theorist then, uh, so we can speed up our mainly our arm experience gain, but also the land doctrine will be nice. Alright, so we got uh, three units here. Our uh, most experienced units, if I remember correctly. That should be fine. Uh, how we want to help then? Well, the war is ongoing here. Uh, let's see if we can maybe rush down uh, Sang Bay. Let's try that. That's not at all what I tended to do. Alright, and if I, if I remember correctly, we aren't in any kind of issue over here, we are in a, we're not in a faction. Uh, which means we aren't, we, we aren't exactly defended if, um, if anyone were to attack us. But France is a communist, so we might be able to form a faction with them. I know we can do it ourselves by um, going down the ideological tree. And I believe fr France have uh, their own focuses, which are um, custom uh, tailored to allow for such a thing. So uh, hopefully that can happen. Um, it's gonna take a while to move over here, over here in China due to uh, the bad terrain. It's still 38, so we, we could go into motorized. We are. Oh, uh, we, we we might uh, maybe we should focus on some tanks. Um, let's see here. We are all good in all of the equipments. We aren't producing that that many materials though. But yeah, let's get some rudimentary tanks. You know what? I just mind. Let's get some motorized. Just to make sure that we have some kind of uh, mobile. Um, Divisions ready that aren't too expensive to produce. That should be fine. All right, uh, we are crossing the Yangtze. No, it's not Yangtze. Uh, the river here, and we are slowly and ready to move. We're gonna build up our planned preparation bonus. Fortunately, we already have some lingering in for some reason. I don't know. Maybe from uh, earlier orders they had. Um, and while we talk, while uh, while I mentioned that, let's have a look at our doctrine. We are we're going with the mass assault doctrine, right? And that's going to help us with. Um, uh, let's see here, our um, recruitable population. I believe. Yeah, recruiter population, another 5%. It's not much, but it's something, uh, especially if, as, um, as Spain, that's kind of important to, to um, uh, how small our nation is. Right, and this is kind of crucial to get um, hospital, field hospital and logistics company. So now we can get some, um, some tanks. And we're ready, so let's uh, let's get started. See if we can uh, penetrate their lines there. The ballot is going our way. Um, we 
yeah, it is. One of their divisions is gonna fall back soon, which should speed up our advance. And they aren't sending in any reinforcements, it seems like. So, um, alright. The 4th International. A number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for, for a founding conference, laying the groundwork for what has been known as the 4th International. Calls for, calls for its information have exi existed for years, with supporters of Trotsky theories taking the lead. Uh, Stalin has responded to the growing support for Trotsky from abroad by ordering additional assassinations and increasing propaganda. Against his old rival. Well, uh, that's great. With the past purges of suspected Trotskysk in the high ranks, ranks of the Soviet military and the leadership in recent memory, this is unlikely to be met with any resistance. Alright, Stalin, uh, how nice of you to um, keep the socialist uh, nations together. But we are uh, doing better from a socialist perspective than uh, real history. We've got Spain and French on the socialist side, so. Uh, that's pretty much um, an entire dif um, different society than um, than the real one. Let's just keep going down this tree until we can get to um, ide ideological fanaticism, and then we can create our own faction. Hopefully, we can manage that before Germany starts to uh, aggressively pursue all of these lands, and which means the United Kingdom of uh, um, France is gonna join up usually anyway um, alright so uh, we could go with some extensive conscription but I don't really see the needs in reason yet uh, eventually that is gonna be what we're gonna do though uh, so let's in the meantime get some sure some industrial research time it's uh, something and let's um, Make sure that these units stop um, deploying. We don't need them yet. All, it's nice with some extra units ready, but uh, you don't want too many of them. Are these guys still guaranteed by Britain? They are, so um, we're not going to attack them. Maybe we should uh, start planning, planning a naval invasion on uh, Sardinia. That's probably where, where we're going to attack when uh, the fascist strikes anyway, so uh, why not? Let's see if we can we can ask for some military access here. Let's form up a bit of a, an army. We don't have any free leaders, so let's uh, get another one. And uh, you know what, I think we're gonna... Can we get... Yeah, we did. Alright, well, um, this might be something I missed, but apparently we can't draw front lines in other people's territories just by having uh, military access, which makes sense, I guess. Um, can't really complain too much about that. Let's send these mountaineers up here just to re reinforce this border a little bit more. Uh, and if we and France join up into a faction, I'm most likely gonna create a fallback line here, so in the case of uh, the fall of France, we could still defend our Pyrenee, Pyrenees um, borders here, seeing how they are quite a quite good natural defenses. All right, uh, we are pushing into China. Hopefully, we are gonna take this um, tile here. Uh, for some reason, uh, something fucked up here. Uh, don't really know why. They got confused, which happens occasionally, but, um, well, you know. Hopefully we're gonna help out um, the communists enough as well that they're gonna win the war against uh, nationalist China, hopefully, if that happens. Alright, let's uh, cancel your orders and just let you have you move in here. Alright, you know what? Screw. Cancel that. Let's try to surround them a bit. Mangoku is a puppet to shine to Japan, right? Gotta get my um, puppet networks straight. Instrument. 
Yeah, my um, Spanish isn't the greatest it's ever been, so um, I don't really know what they're saying. I'm sure it's encouraging for the soldiers. Uh, now we're going to be able to tank uh, Shang Bei, I believe. Unless they reinforce before that, I don't believe they'll be able to, though. And we got indoctrination, good. So now we are going to political commissars, which is going to give us some more... Um, Division recovery rate, and then we're going to ideological fanaticism. And um, historically accurate, accurately enough, historically accurately enough, uh, Germany and uh, Russia has formed the molotov ribbentrop uh, Pact, which pretty much was another division of Poland, which has happened a couple of times through history. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, pro they're probably going to turn on each other eventually anyway, but um, it's always nice to know uh, where the winds are turning, I guess. Uh, Alright, could we use some uh, political um, advisors? Oh, we should have built that guy uh, a long time ago, but you know. And we are building a bunch of civilian factories. How is that going? It's um, it's taking its sweet sweet time. We could go in. F we could go f to um, get some extra infrastructure and then research, which we are gonna do that eventually. Um, first off, I want to get this started so that we get a faction. In the, the worst case, as a backup, more than a worst worst case, I suppose uh, we can always join the Soviets. Um, but I'd, I'd rather see us as less um, of a tanky nation and more of a uh, libertarian socialist nation. They were, they were anarchist after all, so um, that should be the more historically accurate representation anyway. But I, I suppose we could like try to get to attack Brazil and stuff, but I want to stay a bit historically uh, normal. <coughs> And we got Sheng Bao, as you probably saw, and uh, we look to be, it looks like we're holding it as well. It's about to turn over to 1939, which is perfect, which uh, because that's pretty much when all of our research is going to be done. So we can uh, flip over to the important, wrong button there, uh, to the important engineering and industry. Uh, researches as soon as they open up. Okay, so let's see here. We got a bit of an opportunity here. Let's try to uh, utilize that. Uh, China is gonna defend Xingbao anyway. We're gonna try to pocket these two units, maybe even this one. Um, although they might not let us, but hopefully. No, they um, they see where they they see what's happening and they are trying to evacuate the area, doing a Japanese Dunkirk there, a land Dunkirk, I suppose. But yeah, um, it looks to be like uh, China is winning, so um, that's good. Then it's just um, the important thing of. Uh, Making sure that nationalist China loses and uh, communist China wins. Because we, we could use the um, extra forces eventually. Atento. So we got some units ready to deploy. I'm not going to deploy them. I'm going to keep them in um, reserve. Um, until we know what we want to do with them. Because we don't want to expend too many... Too much equipment uh, too early. All right, so we, we circumvented um, a research there, so uh, a focus rather. Okay, so let's uh, try to get more production efficiency up. A pretty important uh, focus to have. Okay, our first uh, generation of tanks are done. Uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to focus on those a bit more later on. I, I do wanna push out these uh, industrial 
text as I said. They are quite um, important. Alright, so we got political commissars and now the last um, focus before we can create a faction here and hopefully join forces together with uh, France and maybe even some more countries. Because right now the Polish have one faction, the Allies have their usual faction, the Comintern has one faction and the Axis. But um, if we're lucky we might be able to um, create our own faction which we can lead. Okay, let's get... Uh, we just finished People's Army, which gives us some uh, different tactics and some um, less attri attrition, which is really good. Uh, so now let's focus on Infantry Offensive, which should get us some Infantry rec Recovery Rate then, which is also quite nice. And I, I was thinking about this, and I think we should get... Um, Backroom backstabber uh, mainly due to the power political power gain, but also due to the ideological drift. It's uh, the ideological drift defense is um, is a nice little bonus, I think. Uh, maybe get some. Uh, yeah, let's get the infantry equipment ready because I uh, I think we're gonna. Research quite a lot of um, infrared equipment in the future. Uh, and I was thinking that we might. I'm just gonna keep hiring a bunch of leaders um, with the hope that we might need them someday. Um, let's see here. Um, these guys are moving here, right? And these guys are moving. All the way down there. These guys move all the way up here. Okay, that sounds well. Um, let's get these cavalry units then. Moving. Let's see. I, I kind of want to cut the nation in two. So let's put them here. And charge straight through there. And hopefully we can trap some units up here and some down here. Uh, which will cause some um, supply issues, hopefully, anyway. And uh, also importantly, they won't be able to balance their forces, not as easy anyway, which means we can uh, take the opportunity to charge one, one flank while the other is just passively defending, or something like it. Alright, so our units here aren't doing much. Uh, we should be try to be a bit more proactive with them. Let's try to rush around here. Japan is moving some units in, but um, it seems like we're gonna be able to beat them quite quite easily. Or not. Apparently not, I don't don't know really what changed. Um, well, we don't seem to be very well um, equipped. I suppose that's because we are on the other side of the world, after all. Um, so maybe... First of all, we should try to take this. Um, well, we could cut, cut through here. Let's try that. Or not. Um, the Japanese seem um, se seem like they really want to disturb my plans here. Even better, let's try to take uh, Kahar before they reinforce it. Get some more weaker points for uh, China. I might have mixed up China and uh, Japan in the last couple of sentences, but I'm sure you understood me. Um, Oh crap, come on. Now we're gonna re reinforce it. Alright, good. So we uh, we just got our faction uh, unlocked. I'm gonna research some extra doctrine here. Um, let's see if France is willing to... Uh, they are not. Because neither them nor we are at war. Here's the thing though. Um, as soon as they are attacked, they're gonna wanna join... The allies and not our faction unfortunately but um, 
Well, that is what it is. Could we, in the meantime, maybe um, we could attack Liberia if we, we really wanted a target. Uh, we could also attack South America somewhere, but um, that might draw the attention of the United States, which might intervene due to them guaranteeing quarant quarant whatever um, all of the South Americas. Anyway, this gonna be this for this. This gonna be it for this episode, and um, hopefully you had a good time. And hopefully you, I'm gonna see you next time. Um, please leave a like if you wanna see more of this uh, content of this series. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. Be a nice person, and I'll see you next time. Bye.